Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading Secrets Revealed About Your Future and I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As you can see we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So pile number one has also this feather. Pile 2 has this feather. And pile 3 has this feather. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the commentary section where you will find the timestamps. And I'll see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. So, we're gonna put your tarot deck over here and we're gonna start with your oracle cards. And you felt drawn to this beautiful yellow feather, and we have the canary bird. It says, Step forward now and sing your song. There is power in finding your voice. Okay, so secrets revealed about your future. Power in finding your voice. So maybe you stood up for yourself or you did something here with your voice. And, you know, canary is a very, I don't know, I always think like happy bird. <laughs> yeah, you know, with the yellow, happy, happiness, joy and singing your songs. I feel a very positive thing, positive thing happening here for you in the future. Let's see what else we got. The castle. Wow, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I mean, look how green it is, how beautiful it is. And with the pearls, with the rose there. And you know, a castle is a castle. And uh, you know, it's always very grand and uh, yeah, very grand. Kind of feels like, a, you know, the fairy tale story with the castle and the prince and the princess and the white horse. <laughs> so the castle. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Change. Wow, there's a lot of magic in your reading. So yeah, a lot of magic. Secrets reveal a lot of, about your future. I think there's a lot of magic coming in your future. A lot of colors. Look at these. And, you know, the, the horse here. Uh... The white horse, it kind of looks like, you know, in the amusement parks, I don't know, merry-go-round, is that the name? And with a balloon, air balloon here, flying high, very dreamy. Everything is very dreamy here, very magical, magical thing, living a magical life. The castle, wow. <laughs> wow, what is this castle? I, I feel like you... It's, you became the castle. Like if we say like uh, the castle is your body, your vessel, vessel I feel like you something you polished yourself up in some way because <laughs> you feel like yeah somehow it feels like you are the castle at the same time it feels like the castle can be uh your home and yeah your home finding your castle you know finding that one place that you call home that is your castle and you just adore it and you just love it and it's just like perfect for you and it gives you so much happiness and freedom and there's a lot of room there with the castle like big like space you know and sp wow this is insane <laughs> i just looked out of the window and it's snowing and i mean the snowflakes are like i don't know two three centimeters i've never seen snowflakes this big actually it's insane <laughs> i wish i could show you they're like snowflakes this big falling like outside the window it looks so magical so yeah magic like a lot of magic to come back to your house here the castle that you found Either it's like really like a big place. It's I feel like spacey. There's a lot of space. Somehow it could even be like you have like a big garden or you live kind of like isolated from other people. Because I keep feeling like a lot of room, a lot of room to sing, to scream even if you want to scream. Nobody will hear you. You can expand your energy. You can run around naked if you want to and do whatever you want. Yeah, it's a lot of freedom. I feel like a very strong connection with your inner child. Like your inner child is running through every room and you know i see i keep seeing you naked <laughs> so na you know naked but like you know with a white shirt on 
and you're painting and you have paint on your leg and paint in your hair and you're kind of creating yeah you're creating in the future so yeah so hmm i see you creating yeah painting creating happy and somehow there's a place for you that you call home that is just wonderful wonderful metal horse engage the heart to heal wow another horse here so you have two white horses and metal horse engage the heart to heal so i feel like you healed your heart and your heart is leading you while wow, we have number seven so if you have followed me you know number seven is my favorite number uh when it comes just to angel numbers because when i see seven it's always like you are on you are aligned you're so aligned with your souls wishes and lessons and growth and you're walking your soul purpose right now so i feel like in the future you are doing that you're being completely aligned your heart is leading you you know your head is not leading you anymore maybe it did before and your heart is leading you look at this what is this fire kind of i know it's not it's actually leaves i think falling or sw swirling around but look like fire it kind of feels like you're leaving the fire behind you left the fire behind you purified yourself you opened that heart and now you're living from the heart the heart is guiding you and i really feel like your inner child is out and uh, you know you, you playing you feel free you feel wild you even feel a bit rebellious and it's like you are co-creating with the the most joyous energies of the universe yeah that's how it feels like <laughs> you're singing your song you found your voice and you're singing your song now and uh, nobody can stop you from being happy or feeling you know i would say joy because happiness is more a fleeting emotion that comes and goes you know we get happy about something and then it goes but joy is a more deep <clears throat> A deeper emotion actually that comes from that place of peace within us it's like a more yeah it's a deeper feeling so i feel like some kind of joy is in in your life and uh, yeah let's see what else we got here rose attracted relationship woo, woo, woo. <laughs> so yeah we have a six here six is the number you know soulmates so yeah there is a soulmate with you in the future and there's so much passion there's so wow i really like this pile <laughs> there's so much passion here there's friendships there's passion and there's fun there's joy and you're singing together you're dancing together you know and being naked together <laughs> naked is the theme here i don't know naked you know also symbolizes being i wouldn't say raw but kind of yeah, you're naked authentic so i really feel like you you are your authentic self in the future you found your authentic self you're fully healed and you are living your authentic life aligned with what your soul was yearning to do and i see when i see your life is fun it's happy there's joy there is peace there is a lot of creating a lot of colors yeah a lot of creating a lot of expression and you know the castle a, a lot of room room to be free room to breathe and uh, yeah <laughs> keep you so strange <laughs> yeah room i hear like you make love i don't know if you want to make a lot of love but like, running around naked making a lot of love painting <laughs> and <clears throat> living this free life drinking i don't know maybe red wine <laughs> i saw red wine <laughs> if you drink wine otherwise maybe something else you know maybe it's a cherry uh, or strawberry juice you picked strawberries in your garden and you made your own juice or something <laughs> so smoothie <clears throat> anyways Let's see what else we got here the challenger your relationships could be challenging you in a very painful way wow this is was the first like heavier card and i feel like i feel like this is what you left look at this the the contrasting energies here the challenger challenging re relationship painful relationship and then here we have this big rose that is open and it shows the passion it shows the romance it shows the intimacy the six here once again it shows the friendships friendship and the true bond here engage the heart to hear you heal this so now you know it's not in the way anymore this challenge is not in the way anymore maybe you had a lot of troubles in your relationships but you dealt with them it's, it's not there it's like yeah whatever that was it's not there anymore you have change here it's not there anymore and now your relationship is blossoming yeah now your relationship is blossoming september yeah i took that month first here i was gonna save that for last but yeah who cares <laughs> september you're eager yeah this is this is eager energy to live here yeah full of life wanting to live so september 
uh, September already passed when I'm doing this reading, but this is a timeless reading. So September from when you are watching the reading now could be the month when you are starting to see this come true for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scissors. <clears throat> Disappointment. Disappointment in some affair. Okay. We have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Wow, we have change here and stubbornness and the scissor cutting this. Let's look at the last card. Hills, obstacles, obstacles to overcome. So wow, it wasn't easy for you to do this. And some, so it could be really like you, some, either it was like something very stubborn. Yeah, something very stubborn in your own heart to heal. Maybe you needed to express yourself from the heart. Maybe you needed to express your voice and it was very hard for you to do this. Maybe at the same time you were dealing with somebody very stubborn and unwilling to change. So it made it like very difficult. Maybe you cut this person out of your life or you healed or you healed. And because of you healing, you somehow also helped this person release. You overcame the obstacles together if this is a person and now you are now you, you are uh, growing and expanding together. So however this resonates for you, either way, there was something stubborn here within you or in your external life in, or in some situation that you are you overcame. You overcame it. You know the mule, you have two horses and a mule here. You know, <laughs> I like mules, poor little mule. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, it's a bit slow maybe. And uh, very reliable though. Yeah, you know the mule. I just keep, I, keep, I hear like this, I get the sweet... Somebody wants to do the right thing, but might be stuck in the same patterns or like a lower consciousness. So it could be that somebody will surprise you in the future. You know, somebody that you thought wouldn't change. So maybe this is not even love related or related with, you know, you, this relationship growing here. But somebody in your life, I feel like have, <coughs> have been stuck in some kind of lower consciousness, not really being aware of their behaviors and not really having the awareness and power maybe to change it because you know if we don't have the awareness then we're stuck in it you know so I somehow I feel like somebody in your life will surprise you by awakening yeah awakening and changing and that will be a big surprise for you it will be a happy surprise for you for because I feel like this is a person that means a lot to you yeah it means a lot to you so yeah, hmm. could even be somebody that disappointed you is coming back to say they are sorry and maybe that will be very healing for you. Maybe this person will be able to hear you, you know, for the first time. Could it be, could it be a parent, a sibling even, you know, that's been very unconscious or and stuff like that and you've been trying to talk to them and it didn't work and now all of a sudden they hear you and they will be able to listen to you and all of a sudden you feel heard, you feel seen, you feel listened to and... Uh, you see this person change and you're like, wow, this was the least person on earth that I thought would change. And it will give you like a lot of satisfaction. And I feel like a lot of the things is because you change, you know, something with you opening your heart and finding your authenticity and purifying yourself, something about you leaving the fire behind, the dramas behind, <clears throat> finding the power in your voice and kind of living your authentic life something with you opening your heart with that compassion and forgiveness is also affecting people around you so I think this could be like several people even around you that is going to surprise you by them also changing you could not see change in them but all of a sudden they are changing they are awakening and all of a sudden they come to you and ask you about this spiritual awakening you know <laughs> this mambo jumbo that you've been doing and they're like curious all of a sudden and they want to know more and all of a sudden you are connecting with people that you have missed being connected with because maybe you went through an awakening and then you went separate separate paths. You know, you were growing and people were staying behind. Could even be friends. Could even be your partner. You know, anyone. And you feel like, yes, this it was maybe a bit frustrating for you because it's, it's, it's not so much fun to leave people that we like behind, but it's very difficult when we don't really connect anymore. And it, it causes certain tensions. And even if you're not really reacting, it might not like give you it might be more t draining for you to be around these people than actually, you know, this mutual giving and receiving. So I feel like something like that is kind of solving with the scissors here. It could be when you're walking away. 
<laughs> it's like when you're, yeah, it could be when you're cutting people off your life and walking away that because I feel like they're somehow still connected to your energy because there is a, some of people that you have in your life, you have a bigger bond with. It's not just you walking away, cutting them like kind of off your life. There's a bond still. There's a soul bond. There's a divine bond with certain people in your life. And I feel because of this and because you are growing, they are also getting kind of, you know, whatever you are doing with yourself, somehow it's awakening themselves. So you are not just awakening for yourself. I feel like it's in your task. Uh, as a soul to awaken certain people in your life certain key people could even be like soul family soul tribe important people and it's going to be very satisfactory satisfaction yeah <laughs> it's going to feel very good for you to see and hear like feel and see and experience how certain people in your life that you thought were stuck somewhere finally awakens and starts to change and i feel like it's going to be very very yeah very healing for you as well so yeah, wow. So <clears throat> you have a lot of room, you know, for all these people with the castle here. I guess you don't want to be alone in all those rooms. <laughs> so yeah, you have a lot of room here to have your soul family over and to like rejoice <laughs> together. So I don't know how I'm shuffling the cards. <laughs> yeah, very strange. <laughs> so yeah, everything is a bit... Uh, uh, yeah, everything is, is a lot of surprises for you, I feel. Things that you weren't expecting. Things solving in ways that you didn't expect. Stuff like that, I feel, is, is on your path, pile one. <clears throat> Nine of swords, wow. So yeah, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Nine of swords. Yeah, it's very, very, something really bothered you. Something really, really, yeah, it was painful here, you know, very, very, you know, you had obstacles to overcome, you have disappointment in some affair, and a lot of thoughts, a lot of disappointments and sadness here, you know, you're, you don't even know what to do, yeah, you're, you're just sitting here, you're like, I don't even know what to do, wow, I feel like I want to cry, ooh, what a heavy energy, poor you, queen of pentacles, wow, <laughs> you not only came out of this, you're thriving in the future, you are thriving, you are stable, you are secure, you dealt with this, you dealt with this from the kind of core wound, there's a core wound connected to this worry and pain here that is in your heart, it's in your voice, it's in your right to be, the right to be heard, right to be listened to, right to be express yourself right you're right to be authentic and now you found it and now you're resting in that authenticity with queen of pentacles here you are very like nurturing yourself very rooted and grounded <clears throat> wheel of fortune wow luck changed for you <laughs> the luck changed for you and once again i feel like destined fate a lot of like fated relationship keep hearing that there's a fated relationship very important for you uh soulmate divine counterpart twin flame twin soul whatever you want to call it whatever resonates with you there is someone like that but also soul tribe members soul family that is meant for you maybe siblings maybe parents maybe other people you know that is meant those relationships is meant also to awaken it could be that they are happening in a later stage uh, but they will awaken certain people will be by your side and I feel like I want to cry when I say that because I don't know it's just your heart I can't I can't barely say this <laughs> your heart has missed them and you know you have been around these people but you weren't ready to connect with them from the deeper unconditional love of your heart because you had to go through your awakening and you had to purge and do your thing and now and because they also did that and they're also doing that there will be a time and point in the future where you both can meet from a deeper level of the heart and I feel like I just feel like I want to cry because I feel like wow I missed you <laughs> yeah something like that like wow I missed you because you yeah you haven't been able maybe to connect from that part uh, in this lifetime maybe many lifetimes and now you're finally seeing it's like yeah now I finally see you and the other person say now I finally see you <laughs> so yeah it's a lot of joy here a lot of happiness a lot of joy a lot of spiritual awakening and just authenticity and listening to each other loving each other and I don't know what's <laughs> There's beautiful energies here. So <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune changing. I feel Wheel of Fortune also shows how that karmic cycle has ended for you and the people around you. And look at the sun here. I mean, come on. Joy is your future. Happiness is your future. Another horse. So yeah, oh, come on. You have three white horses and a mule. <laughs> but 
but yeah, I think like a mule is kind of a horse, but not, but yeah, I think it's, I don't know, when I think about the mule, I feel like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so somebody's very loyal. I feel like somebody's very loyal, but very slow. Like they have a, they're slow. Yeah, they're stubborn and unwilling to change. They're a bit slow. Just, just maybe a bit immature kind of, or, you know, yeah, it just goes a bit slower for them. And that's fine, but they're very loyal and they're very kind and they're very compassionate. So I like this person. I don't know if this is somebody in your life, but yeah, the white horse here, look at you riding here and with the red here showing your power, the red cape and your freedom and you know, yeah, the sun, very, you're living your best life. <laughs> you're living your life. I feel so much freedom in your future, freedom and joy. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, so strange. I just felt like this was a puzzle. I know it's not really, but could they couldn't they like be together like this? So your future and your destiny is one. Your destiny and your future is one. So you're living your destiny in the future. I think you're living your destiny already because I think your destiny is to go through all these things, experience all these things, awaken that heart, free your voice. I think this is your destiny, all of it. So you're probably already aligned, the fool. I mean, come on. <laughs> how positive can this reading be? And look how you're reaching here even for the, you're, you're, you're touching the moon, kind of saying like, yeah, I'm not scared of, you know, the moon always stands for kind of secrets. Yeah, secrets and emotions. You're not scared of anything. You're touching the moon. You're brave. You're brave and free and fearless and fierce. I would say fearless. Yeah, fearless and free. And the zero. You know, it's this, the first card in the whole deck and it's not even a number, it's not even a, it symbolizes the universe, it symbolizes the creator, it's the zero, it's the nothingness, it's the void. So you're back, you went through this whole karmic cycle, lifetimes, lifetimes, you know, <laughs> death and reborn. And with a lot of people here, there's, there is certain people in your life, I feel like for you, pile number one, if this resonates, I feel like everything in your life is so calculated by your soul. Every single person in your life, every person that caused you pain and suffering, every person that is causing you happiness and joy, it's so calculated. There's, I see like red bonds going between you and all these people and everything has its place. And I feel like you're going to realize, you know, you're going to realize it all. You know, some people, you're going to cut out of your life because you finished the karma with them. You know, you drag them along for, you know, 20, 30 lifetimes. You're finally, finally you manage. Finally, you're managing to finish that karma you know, heal whatever that was that needed to be healed or balance whatever it was and you're cutting them out of your life and then there's some key point people in your life that is meant to stay in your life. Beautiful, beautiful relationships that maybe started out painful or maybe started out joyful and then it became painful and, you know, I feel like those are relationships that are meant to be in your life and that is meant to go through this change and there is karma between you and these people as well but there's more soulmate, divine counterpart uh, relationships it could even like I say it could be any type of relationships you know siblings parents friends <clears throat> partners whatever that is meant to stay in your life and I see like happiness with these people so yeah mm. <laughs> wow yeah beautiful <laughs> what a beautiful reading so very high energy today by the way definitely very high energy in this reading so pile number one this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile one i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye hello pile two and welcome to your reading so let's just put the tarot deck over here and let's start with your oracle card so you felt drawn to this feather and we have the starling now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. Okay. Connect with the world in authentic ways. So secrets are revealed about your future. The siren. The siren is calling you. Something is calling you here. Hmm. Okay. We have illumination. Wow. <laughs> Illuminating. Something is illuminating. Hmm. Okay. Water sheep. Wait and listen. Wait and listen. Water sheep. Hmm. Okay. We have Amber. Awaken your creativity. 
and we have soul searching it's time to go within and uncover your true feelings yeah i felt like okay let's start with these cards and we have some tea leaves here we're going to watch them as well and then we're going to do some tarot but let's start just with these because we have the siren here siren you know is you know calling you but si the siren energy can be luring can be a bit you know manipulative like the siren called the seaman to see to whatever she did with them <laughs> ate them or whatever she did but she's calling them luring them with uh, her alluring song you know and now it's time to get it out into the world and connect in authentic ways. Illumination. Something is becoming very clear for you here that was not clear. Soul searching. So you're searching for something here and you are med meditating here with a water sheep. You're waiting, you're listening, you're meditating, you're searching. It's time to go within and uncover your true feelings. We have a number 44 as well. Angel number showing that there's a lot of guidance around you to get you to do this. So I feel like what's going on here is that you are somehow, I, I, I wanted to say lured in the wrong direction with the siren. Something is trying to go in a direction that is not the best for your soul's growth. And uh, it is uh, probably confusing you. It could even be your own mind. Your own mind is coming and luring you into like, ooh, you want this or think about this. And something is luring you emotionally in your mind or somebody around you or you're going. I don't like telling people like kind of you're going the wrong way. And uh, because there's no really no wrong ways, you know, everything is uh, learning and things like that. But I feel like something is pulling you in a direction that is not the best direction for your soul's growth. And now it's time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. So I feel like in the future, you have found another path. You have found another path. And I feel like soul searching because your guides are really doing this right now, trying to guide you into what is meant for you. Illumination here, show, shedding light to your life, your situation, wait and listen, like kind of you're meditating here. You, I feel like you are searching. I feel like you are searching for the answers. I feel like you are searching for the right path. At the same time, I feel like something is really has its hook, hooks on you, hooks on your mind and is making you, uh, oh, like being lured back. Okay, so let's take myself for, let's make an example about myself that always kind of <laughs> uh, balances out the energies. So I've been trying to release uh, something and this thing is actually like a emotional uh, egoic pattern from my childhood it keeps on kind of overpowering me and making me angry and making me stress and all these things and uh, then there's one thing that happened kind of in the external world that once again triggered this and I keep on like trying to let this go but it keeps on overpowering me so I'm like okay now I'm, I'm uh, so I'm, I'm walking around here in my home and all of a sudden I, I can I get aware of how uh, <clears throat> how this trigger has been taking over my mind and I, I, I think certain thoughts same thoughts <laughs> same negative thoughts like always and I have the same type of feelings and I keep losing myself in them and then I wake up and I'm like oh okay I'm lost again so I, I'm like okay let's let it go and I let it go and then maybe two minutes later whoop, it's overpowering me again so it's kind of like and it's like these thoughts and feelings because it's a trigger it's so easy to get drawn into it because it, it takes some practice <laughs> and you know it takes some awareness to actually transform it doesn't go away just because we are like yeah accepting it so it kind of lures me back into the same old thought patterns and the emotional reactions and I keep pulling myself through it back out of it and then it keeps pulling back, me back into it so something like this something keeps pulling you back to a certain thought pattern emotional trigger and maybe these thought patterns is what is triggering your emotions and then you're kind of repeating doing this and I feel like you want just like me you want to get out of this but it's like it's it keeps on taking you back or holding your back or holding your hooks on you if this is a person 
I would say that this person is could be like a bit manipulative because we have the siren. Could be like a little, I heard two faced, or like just like a very like low consciousness. And this person wants to keep you in in your end of the drama. <laughs> so uh, it it could also be like something that happened in the past. You have a hard time letting this go, and you keep on revisiting the, this past event in your mind. And I feel like. So secrets revealed about your future. I feel like you're going to get out of this. I feel like you're going to get out of this. And I feel like your life is going to change big time because of this. Because you have... I, I, think, I, thought, I think I said this yesterday. I, it feels like you've been walking in, in circles in the same repetitive drama with this person or kind of with yourself. And it just goes like over and over and over again. And I and because it does that, it's like one part of your life feels like it, that it's not moving. And I feel like I really feel <laughs> I really feel like I feel like you are, you want to get out of this. I feel like a part of you will wants to do that. But like I said, just like with me, it still overpowers you and it still draws you in. And all of a sudden, whoa, you're doing it again. And it's because of the oh, it's because of certain patterns in you you know so certain patterns in you and certain triggers in you are still very strong maybe if that resonates with you so would amber here i feel it says awaken your creativity but i feel like this is fire i feel like this will oh you have illumination here above the fire here so i feel like somehow this is going to be burned transmutated and transformed from your life and with that releasing you into the world and giving you the opportunity to connect with your authentic self. I feel with the water shape here, it's going to give you peace and it's going to give you answers. Um, yeah, it's going to give you peace and it's time to go within and uncover your truth. And it's, it, you're going to see <clears throat> that there's something going, it's like this thing here, it kind of feels like on a very surface egoic level. Uh, yeah, pain body egoic level from, from a very like surface place but there's something very deep hidden beneath this with the soul searching here and with you sitting here meditating and illumination feels like you're going to get some some really 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 deep answers and clarity and freedom it's going to like as it change your life big time yeah i think it's going to change your life big time and i feel like how you are releasing and rising above this let's see what cards here as well yeah Let's do the month first. December. Wow, that's fun. So yeah, uh, this is a timeless reading. But when I'm recording this, it's it's still October, I think. Is it the 29th or 30th? I don't remember. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, October. So December is soon. So that's nice. So it seems to be going on soon. And this, it's a blue, I don't know, it's a blue-haired angel here. You know, look at it with the snow here and the blue. Very fresh energy here. Even here with the water shape. It goes very good together with this. So I feel like you're going to get some deep insights and freeing yourself from this. And it seems to be happening here in December. Hmm. Yeah, and you know, December and fire, it's the Sagittarius. You know, Sagittarius is born in December. So it's the fire sign. Maybe you are a fire sign. Maybe there's a fire sign somehow connected to this. Or maybe you have some Sagittarius, Aries, Leo placement somewhere in your Natal chart that is important for you. Soul searching. Hmm. You're going to go. You, I, and I keep feeling like you're ready. It's not like you want to go in circles. It's not like you want to be stuck. It's not like you are un unconscious or like something like that. I feel like you are very like uh, mature. And I feel like you are very ready. Yeah, I feel like you are very ready. But this is just so alluring. <laughs> the siren here. Like I said with me, you know, it's 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 a... Uh, it's a triggering, very triggering emotions. For me, it's like childhood wound that comes up, you know, very difficult to let go of. So it's very triggering, you know. All of a sudden you're angry and you're like, Rrr! and you're like, oh, okay, I'm angry again. Let's let it, let's let it go, you know, I let it go. And then, woo, five minutes later, it's just overpowering me again. So somehow it's, I feel like it's, um, it's tricky. Even if this has to do with a person, I feel like the reason why they can put the hooks inside of you and keep doing this could have something to do with your childhood your parents, the way you 
some emotional wound that has not healed. So yeah, whatever these hooks are, wherever they are, I feel like you're freeing yourself from them. I feel like you're getting so much help. I feel like you're so ready. Yeah, it's you. You are ready. That's that's why it's going to happen because you are ready. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Tent. Temporary situation. Yeah, the situation is going to end. That's that. That's the thing. And with the tent here, so maybe you have to move out, move away from someone, and then you have a temporary apartment until you find your real one. So yeah, maybe some of you are leaving someone that is not nice to you. And uh, first of all, you don't have any place to live, and then you're going to get a nice place. But anyways, temporary situation makes me feel like this is going to be over. This is just like, yeah, if you're worrying about this, it's it's about to end. And the tent here also makes me think of isolation, meditation, being in nature. She's sitting here, connecting. Oh, I think this is going to be so good for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you. I think this is going to be so good. I think you're going to re release a chunk of uh, something that has had, had its hook on you or energy in you, like very deeply within you. And I feel this to be a, like a black gooey energy. And it's nice for you to get rid of that. Lightning, control your anger. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been talking about anger. So yeah, control your anger or you will be sorry. Wow, interesting. Hmm. Control, it could be, you know, so if this is a person, it could be that this person likes you triggered. They want you to get triggered and because it feeds them. But you know, also the same, you know, my pain body and my ego wants me to be triggered and angry because then it gets food. But every time I don't uh, feed it, it actually dies, it becomes less. The anger becomes less. If I don't feed it, it becomes less. If I just observe it as an energy field in my body, because even if I don't think, the energy is still going to be there. Burning in my body, anger usually burns <laughs> and makes certain pains, you can feel it. You know, whatever feeling that you're feeling will also always have energy moving through your body because it's energy the emotion is an energy and then we make it into a thought in our head and then it's like it becomes so bigger because there we're feeding it with our thoughts and then you know and but if we stop thinking then and stop reacting then it's just energy moving through us through our body but the problem here is Often it's so often it's so overpowering that it takes over our mind. So it's a practice. It's a spiritual practice. So maybe your biggest spiritual practice is to observe the anger. Maybe it's not anger. Maybe some other emotion, <clears throat> worry, whatever is luring you back here, worry, whatever thoughts you have, and somehow there's going to, there's going to be a crack here. You know, with lightning, crack is opening up in your mind illuminating you and awakening you. You're awakening to higher consciousness. We have the sheep here, you know, sh the purity here. You're purifying yourself somehow. And I just saw her black. Yeah, I just looked at this card and I saw she, uh, this meditator here wearing this black outfit. I was thinking about, I don't know if it's karate or whatever it is, but you know, white. Black feels like this. I don't know if it, this is true, but I heard this is the master's dress. So I feel like you probably, like I said, because I didn't feel like you were, you're not like a, you're not like a new soul. You're not lost. You're not really confused, but this is something that is overpowering you and a bit difficult for you. So I feel like you are ready and things like that. So I feel like with the, the black, she wearing black hair, for me, it felt like master. You're ready in, in the black starling here. You are kind of ready to, become a higher version of your own master self. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, higher version. Because somehow it feels like you're already awakened to your self-mastery. But now there's, a, there's something cracking and burning here, cracking open here. So I feel like you're going to go through another awakening where... Your mind, I wouldn't even, I don't even know if it's called the awakening, but your mind is becoming illuminated here. And you are, look how you're sitting here in peace with the sheep here, symbolizing the purity, you know? So you are, you over, you not only overcame this, you kind of cracked open your consciousness, illuminated your mind and became even more awakened and aware. Hmm. 
even soul searching, you know, you're sitting here, you're downloading information here. It doesn't look like that. Soul searching. So you, you got rid of this and now you're sitting here downloading. Zoom, 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 zoom. 44, they're giving you information now. A lot of information. It's time to you to go within. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect, connect in authentic ways. So you overcame this and now you're going out into the world, maybe to teach, maybe to share something. But you're down, whatever it is, you're downloading the information here, the next step. You, something cracked open, <laughs> something burned and cracked open. You're downloading it, awaken your creativity and you're getting your mission here. They're telling you to do something here. There's, yeah, they're telling you to do something and you will follow that probably. I really see you're sitting here receiving that. <laughs> Some of you are going to experience uh, states of bliss. And just to remind you, bliss also comes and goes. <laughs> Nothing stays, you know. Everything comes and goes. So yeah, don't get attached to that. So yeah, but bliss is nice. <laughs> Feelings of bliss. So yeah, you're going to... And even maybe Satori. So Satori is a Zen term of a window of enlightenment. So you're going to have like an experience of enlightenment. And that can change your whole life. I, feel, I keep hearing like the lightning is the crack. The crack and the anger is the thing. The anger or the intense emotion doesn't have to be anger. The intense emotion, the siren here, you know, when you are focusing on the emotion and si silencing your mind and just focusing on that energy moving through your body, you keep doing that. That's your spiritual practice. You keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And all of a sudden, you know, because you're not reacting, feeding to this energy, the, the ego is bound to die. There will be a crack opening up. I keep repeating myself, but I think, you know, when the guide does that, it's important. It's something behind the words. It's not just the words. I'm channeling kind of energy and maybe it doesn't resonate with anybody or all of you, but whoever hears it, there's somebody meant to hear this and meant to do this. I feel like this will open the crack. So the anger, the emotion, the intensity is the, the portway. It's the gateway. It's the gateway for you. It's the blessing for you. If you handle this right, it will be the biggest blessing for you. And uh, you will release and you will open, illuminate. <laughs> I mean, wow. Star, come on. <laughs> and we had four of these. And this was the last one I took. You know, star, guaranteed success. And even the star, you know, it's the crown chakra. The crown chakra cracking open here and expanding and opening and you're channeling this, uh, whatever you're channeling here, whatever information they're giving to you, soul searching, you're going to get answers that you could never have imagined, that you've been searching for, maybe even many lifetimes. But yeah, guaranteed success. Wow. <laughs> so this was a wonderful reading. Let's do your tarot cards. <laughs> and I like this deck because it's called, uh, yeah, what is it called? <laughs> can't you remember <laughs> this might hurt tarot yeah this might hurt and there's a card in here it's a bonus card and it says this might hurt this might heal and i like that because you know it shows that it's in our hands even the most difficult situation even the most difficult pain we have choices we have certain choices that can lead us to more pain or heal healing it doesn't mean it's easy but there's still a choice and i think that's nice because it shows that we are never you know, victims, we can always make something, even in the most difficult choices, there's something we can do, yeah, so five of swords, yeah, look at this, so this is an interesting, you know, five of swords, because, you know, five of swords shows somebody that has stabbed people in the back, that just wants to win, you know, they just want to be right, they just want to win, they don't care, he, this person, he doesn't care about these people here, he took everybody's knives, and he's like, yeah, I won over you, and they are crying, and, you know, they're scared, he, they don't, he doesn't care, so, yeah, there is something here, and it, it's it like, once again, it could be your mind, your thoughts, like, yeah, your, your, your ego wants you to be angry, it wants you to react, it tells you, yeah, you should be angry with this person, you should do this, and you should do that, you know, this person sucks, you know, <laughs> but you know, you're feeding it. He wants to survive, but not feeding it makes it die. It creates the space, you know, for the crack to happen. King of Pentacles. Yeah, what a fat, <laughs> what a fat and happy King of Pentacles. He ate, <laughs> he ate so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said that, but yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, big, fat, happy ping of King of Pentacles. <laughs> I don't have no idea why I'm saying that. And I don't know why I'm laughing. There's some strange energy here. Let's see how it unfolds. Maybe somebody's calling you fat, criticizing you. Hmm. Yeah, we don't know. The lovers. Wow. That's nice. Yeah, the lovers. Hmm. 
I think I just have to censor it a little bit. Wait, okay, YouTube rules. So yeah, we censored a bit here. <laughs> so yeah, the lovers, King of Pentacles and the lovers. Hmm, King of Pentacles. You're so satisfied here. There's so much satisfaction here with the King of Pentacles. I think you're going to really like, I think your life is going to change so much because of this. I see you going from being stuck in some kind of merry-go-round, you know, round, round, and, you know, going back and forward, oh, you know, dealing with this. And, and then I just see you moving. I see you going from darkness to light. I see you moving through the light. Yeah, so much light here. Happiness and joy. <laughs> the big, fat, happy king here. You're happy. You're satisfied. <laughs> you know, comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. Huh. And the lovers. Wow. There's so much healing in this lover card. You know, I've thought about that. Actually, many lovers card. There's always the divine feminine holding the divine masculine like this, like she's healing him. So, yeah. And I've been listening to Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now on audiobook once again. And I heard this, I think, yesterday. And he says, like, the, 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 the divine, the feminine on earth is, is going to awaken before the masculine because the divine feminine is more connected to their emotions. You know, they're deeper connected to their emotions. So they are bound to heal and awaken before the man. And it's so nice here. She is comforting the man here. So for some of you, if you have a divine counterpart... You are going to heal your divine masculine. You're going to heal your divine masculine. And the, your divine masculine is going to let you. Because before maybe they didn't let you. Because there was fear or there was something like that. But look at this. This divine masculine have the counterpart here has surrendered. Has surrendered to your love. And look how you are. You're so soft here. So you're healing. You're healing here. And if you're a divine masculine, you're, the, the divine, you're going to let the divine feminine heal you. Somehow there's something beautiful here. There's beautiful love here. Healing. Hmm. <laughs> I really like this king. He's really happy. I, I, I don't know. What, I have no idea what this energy is. I, let's see how it goes. It feels like somebody's visiting me with their energy. Queen of Cups. Wow. So yeah, Queen of, let's see here. Queen of Cups and King of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. We want to do one more card. And Four of Wands. I mean it. Wow. So you're what? I mean, it's so, it's so much change. I mean, there's so much change. <laughs> there is so much change. Huh. I think somebody's becoming healthy with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's he healthy. Like, physically healthy. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's, I don't know, somebody's drinking, eating too much, maybe using some substances and somehow I feel like that is going to <sighs> hmm, be addressed <laughs> in the future and somehow changed. Queen of Cups, there's some healing coming into that. Let's see here. But four of wands, celebration, success, you know, guaranteed success. Four of wands, celebrations, maybe even marriage. Maybe even somebody proposing here with the lovers. Marriage, proposal, happy home. Happiness, kids, fertility, you know, abundance, whatever resonates with you. But I mean, look at this. The port way to happiness has opened because the crack in your head, <laughs> the crack opened up. And I feel like this is a... So there are several messages here. This feels more earthly. There was something very, very spiritually going on with you. Very spiritually going on with you. But then there's a second part here that's more kind of connected to you as a human here on earth. You have a mission and something you're channeling here. That also feels very spiritual. You're going to be guided to do that. But then something else is going on here with actually a relationship or a love story. The lovers is also, by the way, your authentic self. So that keeps on popping up how you have found your authentic self or awakened your authentic self and you're out in the world and you're connecting with the world. You are doing something here, awakening your creativity. You're doing something, the mission that you got here. You're fulfilling that. You're working. They're talking to you here, your guides, telling you what to do. This is, a, this is a team that you're working with here. But then something is going on here on an earthly level where you are, your finances is getting better with Ace of Pentacles. There might be a new home or a new job opportunity coming to you. There might be a person in your life that you're finally somehow going to 
to the next stage with maybe moving in with, maybe marrying, maybe proposing, something that like that is going on. There is, with the King of Pentacles here, because I said a big fat king, I feel like this person is indulging, eating too much, drinking too much, smoking maybe too much pot, you know, having a lot of money sitting here on its throne. And I feel like this is a very kind of unbalanced energy. But you know, I feel like, yeah, it's comfortable, but it's unbalanced. Somehow I feel like... I feel like somehow this is going to break through with the Queen of Cups, the, the Lovers and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like it's, 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 it could be that you are healing your divine counterpart or somebody in your life that has problems like this, or it's a part of you. It's a part of you, you know, uh, that likes to overindulge and likes shopping and likes like, but some, and maybe drinking wine, but somewhere, I, I'm not saying this is bad at all, but somewhere, some, some of those areas could be a bit unbalanced in yourself or in somebody important in your life. And I feel like somehow that is becoming highlighted and somehow healed, somehow healed. And there's like a new start for the two of you. Yeah, there's like a new start or a new start for you because you released that. Hmm. Yeah. So that <laughs> was your reading. Part number two. I think it was a very long reading today, actually. But yeah, it was nice. It was fun. So part two, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, part two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, part three, and welcome to your reading. So let's just put your tarot deck over here and let's start with your oracle cards. So you felt drawn to this feather. And we have the Oriole. Oriole. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. A new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. A new creative venture positive change okay secrets revealed about your future let's see the mentor wow beautiful yeah with a big owl here very beautiful kind of feels like it's hugging holding something here hugging is this the sun i would say like this is the sun no maybe not yeah i don't know <laughs> but oriole the mentor hmm these two colors was good together so forgiveness okay we have metal rat be aware of projection mm -hmm. looking itself in the mirror here i think it's a mirror be aware of protection projection projection forgiveness projection the mentor a new creative venture is on the horizon a positive change you're flying over something here. You're flying over something here. Yeah. Jade, take action. Yeah, you're moving beyond something. Moving beyond forgiveness. You're reaching for the moon here. You're reaching for answers here over the moon. Hmm, reaching for answers. What else do we got here? The blame game, wow. Wow, <laughs> it's time to take ownership over the life you are creating. So there's projection, there is the blame game, there is forgiveness, and there is like, I keep seeing like you're flying over this. Yeah, secrets are real, you're going to fly over this. I don't know, so maybe this is something that because, you know, usually when we're reading, the energy shows kind of your energy right now. Usually, I think right now it seems to be, Something with mirroring something or someone is mirroring and the blame game, you know, blaming each other, forgiveness, you're reaching for answers here. You're reaching for answers. Then the mentor here, the higher self. Yeah, look at this, how the higher self comes in here and guides you out of this, guides you out of this in a very creative way. <laughs> yeah, a new creative venture. But I kind of feels like you're creatively guiding you out of this. And you're taking action with Jade here. It's just like a beautiful, it's like you finally find yourself out of this in the most beautiful way. So like, I feel like secrets revealed about your future is like, there's going to be an opportunity, a door opening in your life. And I feel like this is going to be a big surprise for you, how this door is opening up, how this door, how this opportunity is helping you out of this. Because the blame game, I mean, look at this. It's like, 
It's like it's something exploded in the universe and there's like bits and parts flying everywhere and everything is burning. This is, you don't want to be here. You know, everything is burning here. <laughs> it's crazy. It's time to take ownership over the life you're creating. Be aware of projection. Yeah, you, it's like you need to, it's a very, whoo. You're getting, you're getting burned. You're getting burned here. Ah, hmm. So yeah, there's going to be a surprise. I feel something is going to come into your life and take you out of this. It feels like, once again, you're flying over it. Yeah, you're flying. It's literally burning here. And you're flying over it with all your wisdom. You know, you connected with your higher self or something. You saw something. Universe brought you something. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to fly out of that door. And you take action here with Jade and you fly. This is what is a very interesting reading. Let's do your uh, tea leaves as well. August. We have August here. So maybe this happens in August. Maybe August, you know, I think it's the Virgo. Is it Virgo that is in August? Could it also be... Could it also be... No, not Cancer, I think, but August. Hmm. Yeah, Virgo, I know it. I know it for sure. So yeah, anyways. Virgo, August. Hmm, maybe some connection to August. Maybe you were born in August. Maybe you're this person. The blame game. You're, there has to be two people here. The mirror. You can't mirror yourself. <laughs> so there is mirroring here. There is some, some situation going on here. August seems to be like something important happening. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Yeah, there's going to be like a safety ladder coming out and helping you. Get, getting you out of this. Spear. Wow heartache or what you no longer have yeah painful here with the spear wow i think maybe somebody really hurt your feelings you know forgiveness yeah maybe somebody really hurt your feelings and yeah it's not so nice what do we have here love <laughs> i mean love <laughs> yeah yeah who doesn't like love astral house love so hmm <clears throat> <laughs> somebody born in august put a spear into your heart it was a love situation now you're climbing out of that so yeah maybe that's one scenario hmm something maybe something happened in august that made you fall out and nobody wants to take responsibility for this hmm let's do your tarot cards as well because new creative venture it feels like you, with a new creative venture it also feels like you're going to get something else to focus on something is going to be more fun than this i feel like at the same time i feel like something else is growing in your life something is creating success in your life could be like you're really like yeah a new creative venture that you're following and you know you're being guided towards that so you're putting more time into that and you are reaching look at how hard how high these treetops are so you are growing and expanding and reaching some kind of success with that maybe but yeah hmm. okay tarot we need you to be as clear as possible because whoopsie this yeah two of pentacles <laughs> yeah that didn't make us yeah that didn't give us any clarity so you've been juggling this Maybe you've been juggling your work and some situation here. Like, it could be a love situation because we have love here. It could be another situation with the person. It could even be like a colleague or your boss or something. Blame game. Nobody wants to take responsibility. You're both projection. There's like mirroring. It's like, it kind of feels like you are, both of you somehow is, are like mirroring and... and projection projecting towards each other so it feels like it's it's like a bit tricky but i feel like you're going to get higher you're going to see this from a higher view and you're going to kind of stop stops like get get out of this mirroring and somehow move beyond this and uh, but yeah with the two of pentacles is a bit of juggling here it feels okay let's see what we got here four of wands hmm celebration so you're celebrating here the blame game the star i mean come on hope <laughs> so much hope here your situation is going to solve i don't know what caused your disappointment and pain but look at this hope look at this rebirth you know yeah wow there's so much hope here for once maybe somebody is like asking for your forgiveness with forgiveness here yeah, maybe somebody realized they were projecting and they asked for your forgiveness. 
Or maybe you ask for forgiveness. It doesn't matter who it is, you know. It's fine for us as well to ask for forgiveness if we do something wrong. <laughs> you know, maybe it's somebody very important here. So let's see here. Nine of Wands. Well, stubbornness maybe. Nine of Wands. Let's see what else we got. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And one more card. Three of Swords. Wow, yeah. So too hard i mean i mean there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of cards showing like love situation going on three of swords the spear with heartache with with what you no longer have and love so i feel like <sighs> the star you know the star ended up above the three of swords so i feel like somebody caused you pain and uh, I feel like how I feel like somehow that's going to solve. There's going to be forgiveness. There could even be, you know, higher self. Like you know, there could even be like um, forgiveness and love bl blossoming again. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Four of Wands. Hmm. You know, celebration. Keep hearing like somebody's going to ask for your forgiveness or come maybe come back or something like that. I think we're going to do three more cards. Let's just do those on top. Six of Swords. Wow. You have King of Wands and you have the Magician. <laughs> so, yeah. Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Magician. What's going on here? Jade, Tech, Action. There's move. There's definitely movement here, you know. So something is something is like there is a blame game. There is a fire going on here. There is projection. Projection. Why is it so hard to say that damn word? <laughs> Mirroring going on here, and there is a hard time seeing what is what. But I really feel like how this is going to solve and how you're going to get out of this. Either way, either way. Like if this is a boss of yours, so if this would be a boss, let's say this is a boss, and I feel like somehow this person caused you pain put you in the spot somehow somehow it feels like the magician the king of wands you're finding nine of pentacles you're finding finding your freedom from this you're standing up for what you think is right and somehow you're freeing yourself from this if this is a love situation like uh yeah like a love situation going on i feel like uh I keep feeling like this person is going to say they are sorry or you are going to say you're sorry. Both of you maybe might say you are sorry. And somehow you're going to get some kind of higher perspective on this. Like both are taking responsibilities and you're kind of overcoming this. And there is renewal. There's hope. There's renewal. Yeah, renewal of wow. <laughs> you know, look at this. It's the marriage card. It's the proposal card, the celebration. So yeah, maybe something. And, and this man is giving her a rose here even. So yeah, something is coming to get it. If this is the boss, maybe you're getting a raise. Say Maybe your boss is saying, yeah, I act like an a-hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or maybe that boss get like fired from their work and a new boss comes in and say, yeah, I really recognize your good work. We want to give you a raise. So there's different scenarios going on here, but the one thing that is common that there is a conflict with another person. There is a conflict with another person and it is painful for you. Somehow it is painful because there's a spear in the heart. Whatever this person does or mirrors is, is awakening some kind of deep emotions within your heart and it's painful, but you're going to fly over it. You're going, there's a ladder. There's going to be some kind of opportunity or opening. You're going to take some certain action and it's going to cause some kind of victory for you with the king of wands here sitting on your crown some kind of victory and i feel like somehow getting your voice heard but the king of wands also for me feels like ego and stubbornness so i feel like it could be from both parts it could be from one part and somehow you know because we have nine of wands maybe nobody wants to you know move from their place Everybody who's like, yeah, I am the biggest boss here, king of wands. I am the one who is right. No, yeah, yeah I'm the one. So yeah, it kind of it could be egos fighting and that's fine. You know, <laughs> we all have that. And somehow it feels like higher self is coming in here, whoo, helping you, awakening you or this person or both. And there's going to be like movement and there's going to be like, look at this. Let's put them in the right order. So you're kind of leaving the ego here, leaving, there's peace coming into the situation. We have King of Wands, a lot of fire. So it could be that you're dealing with a fire element, doesn't have to be Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. And once again, it doesn't have to be. 
And I feel like, yeah, you're leaving this. Things are calming down with the Six of Swords. Emotions are calming down. Everybody's getting clarity. The Magician makes me think, together with the Nine of Pentacles, how kind of like you are kind of communicating from a new way, meeting in like a, like a more... Uh, what is it called? Like a more constructive, like there's a constructive energy coming here with the magician. Also, you know, growth and manifestation, kind of like turning lead into gold. So there was a situation that went really crappy here. It's like a crappy thing going on here. Somehow this is transforming. And yeah, somehow this is transforming. For some of you, you're finding your independence. For some of you, yeah, it's like there's some of you are releasing this person and some of you don't. Some of you are solving it. So it kind of depends on you're going to know, you're going to know how it resonates for you. If you feel like this is really like toxic, you know, you need a new boss or you need to let go of this person. Or if this is actually, you know, somebody that you actually have a strong soul bond with and you know you're meant to be together, but something has popped up in the way, you know, there is a challenge for you to overcome, which is normal. You know, this is how we grow, especially, you know, in Divine Counterpart, Twin Flame, soulmates in all those relationships, there's going to be challenges there that is meant to overcome for us to grow. So you're going to know which one of these replies to you. And But yes, there is stubbornness here and there is mirroring here and it is painful. I think it's painful for both parts. And uh, peace. It's going to sow. There's going to peace. There's going to be love. There's going to be peace and love. And I still want to do more cards. So let's do three more. Let's do three last cards. And let's choose another deck. And we're going to use this deck. This is my most... <laughs> yeah, this is a, one of my clearest decks. Like if I want really clear answers, this deck never uh, disappoints me. It is... <laughs> it is... Uh, yeah, it's the original Raid Away Tarot. So it's a, it has a very clean energy. And I really like working with it. So anyways, let's do three more cards. Yeah, we have one. This looks like two. Let's see one more to see here. Whoopsie doops. Three. Okay. <clears throat> we have fire wands. Yeah, definitely conflict. Fire, once again, fire element, fire signs. But yeah, fire burning here. So there is conflict. We have the chariot. Successful movement. Yeah, finally successful movement, moving in the right direction with the magician here, knowing which direction to go, you know, <laughs> knowing what to do to move yourself out of this and the judgment, come on, perfect. I love this deck. So yeah, judgment really showing once again with the star here, how there's going to be a rebirth and a really big change in this, how this is solving, resolving, maybe even forgiveness is given, maybe, yeah, even forgiveness here, compassion, things are solving and it's, it's a new start. Solving and, and opening up a new start for you. So yeah, wonderful. <laughs> okay, so pile number three. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile three. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Okay,